So cute. All right, sorry guys. Um, there was a, we had to swap APs. Sorry, somebody said, isn't Maya a streamer? Does she work here? This is my nonprofit animal sanctuary. Hello, I live here and I stream from here. Um, but I do a bunch of conservation education on Alvea Sanctuary, which is the channel. Yes. That Emily is visiting. Oppa sees. Maya is awesome pants. She sees the banana. Hello, Oppa. <gasps> so it's such a small That's little nice. bite for him. Do you want to put it on your finger? I like your hair, sire. Oh, thank you. Oh my God, he's crawling on That's you. Nice. So cute. That's nice. Oh, he loves you. Go, we can go down here. Wow. That's so cute. So, here you go. Thank you. Appa, for We you. have the two marmosets. Uh, we got them from a neglect case in Austin. Oh. Um, someone got them as a pet. <laughs> really? Someone got them as pets and oh. just did not know how to take care of them properly. Dang, yeah. Um, and so they were super malnourished. They oh. had metabolic bone disease. Oh. Oh. Um, oh. He knows I have this whole thing. Appa, do you want to drop on me? Uh, they had dental disease. And um, so, Papa, are you okay? We rehab them for the past six months inside. Ah, so cute. Um, and then they got moved out into this outdoor enclosure. This is the first time they've ever lived outside or had like a space of their own to actually run around. They've only ever lived in a cage oh, otherwise. That's so nice. Um, so yeah, it's a big step for them. It's a big deal. Papa, oh, that's the <laughs> skin. The entire thing. Um, and they're doing super, super well. When we got Appa, he had like almost no use of his back legs. Like his mobility was really poor um, in his back legs. And now he's just like way better, way healthier. So uh, we have them to teach people about why you shouldn't have these as pets either. You don't want monkeys as pets in your house. It's not good for their welfare. Obviously these two are a pretty extreme case of that. It took us six months to get them to this point. Um, so. So cute. Really unfortunate that they were in someone's house. Mm -hmm. And then also, we don't know what it does to wild populations. <laughs> wow, that was fast. He's so speedy. Um, so we don't want them captured out of the wild for the pet trade. And then also, their ecological niche, or what they do in the wild, is they disperse seeds. Mm. Uh, so they eat fruits and then swing around and mm. poop everywhere. Oh, to, very like, nice. help with forest regrowth. So oh. they'll swing around your house and just shit everywhere. Oh, that's what people don't like. Um, that is so cool. Yeah, and they're like, they can get anywhere they want. They jump so far. In your house. Oh, so people don't like that. Wow, graceful. Oh nice. They're so small. You want to put them on one of these sticks? Sorry. Good job, Appa. Go. Yeah, you're so talented. Good job. Mm -mm -mm. Yum, yum, yum. So do they like bananas the most? Yeah, they do. Mm. So Appa is a common marmoset. And then Momo up there is a black tufted marmoset. They're different species. They're both Brazilian. Um, and Momo uh, has Momo. less than half of his teeth left. Because oh. if, like, if you feed a kid like a ton of sugar and never brush their teeth, um, oh. their teeth will fall out or rot out. And that's what happened to Momo because his diet was so poor. poor Momo. So he's lost most of his teeth. Oh, but <laughs> you got to chill, dude. <laughs> he's excited. you got to chill out, buddy. He's very motivated. Greetings, Momo. Oh, my God. <laughs> Appa. Oh. <laughs> I'm he's so trouble. ready. Go down here. It's good boy. Is Momo older? Uh, wow. Yes, he's a year older. This is beautiful, the, the thing you made, like the whole thing. Thanks. Nice. Yeah, yeah, it took us a long time. Hops down. <gasps> Hi, Momo. There's nice Momo. He's a little you. more on the shy side oh. between the two of them, but so they're both cute. pretty great. Oh, hey, show that booty. Good job, oh. guys. He's so nice. And they both like bananas. And were they in the same house together so that you, you uh, yes. rescued them at the same time? Okay, yeah, very cute. I, it's amazing how uh, like nimble he is. They're, yeah. they're very agile. Exactly. You don't want that? You want to go here? Good boy. Wow. Is he like a cat where if he falls from a high place, it's okay? Yeah, they do well. Wow. They're meant to be swinging around in trees. That's so cute. I so like yeah. Momo on the pole. Yeah, he's <laughs> so cute. I wrapped that pole. Uh huh. <laughs> Pretty nice. Look at him go. Somebody <laughs> come get him. Nice to meet you. So, you guys, you don't want monkeys as pets. You shouldn't have them as pets. They don't do well in houses. They're not pets. They're wild animals. Um, and so we have people to talk, or we have these guys to talk about the exotic pet trade. Um, what you can do about that, if you weren't planning, well, if you're planning on getting one, don't. That's mm. something you can do. Uh, if you weren't planning on getting one, you can report content like that online. Most oh. Instagram, TikTok, stuff like that, most of them have uh, report systems for illegal wildlife trafficking. Mm. Bye, Alright! Oh, they're so cute! That was mm -hmm. beautiful. 
So you know the show uh, Tiger King? Yes. Is it corrupt? Uh, yes. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah corrupt. his situation okay. was pretty whack. Okay, that's good to know. Very um, bad. There's uh, lots of private zoos um, mm -hmm. uh, that don't do a very good job. A lot of people that just want to have big cats because they think they're cool and mm -hmm. they go under a guise of like... It's a sanctuary. Yeah. Cub petting is crazy fucked up. Which one? Cub petting, like oh. where you get to take pictures with baby tigers oh, and baby lions. Wow. Yeah, because they breed them for mm -hmm. cub petting. Mm -hmm. So then, like, they get a bunch of money out of these cubs because everyone pays a ton of money to mm -hmm. hang out with them and mm -hmm. take pictures. Mm -hmm. And then, once they're too big uh, to be using cub petting and they're a liability, <gasps> they sell them to game ranches. <gasps> Gamers? And game ranches. No. Wait. Oh. A game, game ranch in oh. Texas is like. A huge fenced-in area that mm -hmm. someone owns, and people pay to go in there and shoot exotic animals for sport. No way! Yeah, and like take trophies home. That's so horrible. They're like super socialized cubs oh my God. of wild cats, and then they get sold to game ranches, and they're like friendly, and then people go shoot them. God, that's horrible. and it's just a cycle. But there's so much money in it for everyone. Very bad. So yeah, that's not good. Yeah, it's crazy. <gasps> crows! The crows! The crows! The crows. <laughs> Hello, crow. Abbott. What's his name? Abbott. Abbott. Hi, Abbott. Abbott's so cute. No, 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 no. Come here. Good boy. Oh, look at all this room he has. I know. Okay, you want to put your arm out? Yes. Abbott, please. Oh, come on me if you would like. Ah, so cute. Wow, this is Abbott. He's an American crow. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, he's a lot. That's no, okay. Wait, and is he, uh, wait. So is he, like, uh, trained or something like stuff? Yeah, he just is getting food right now. He's very so he's, nice. Yeah, he's okay. very nice. Wow. He's very, he's very loud. Isn't it, isn't it annoying when they're like, crows are bad? Yeah. They're so sweet. Well, a lot of people think crows are agricultural pests, and they absolutely can be. Mm. Um, but we have these two. They were both born in the wild. Have it. No! <laughs> they were both born in the wild. Um, and raised by people, and then they imprinted on people. Um, so, That's like, cute. when ducklings follow an adult duck, it's because they're imprinted on ducks. Mm. So, he identifies with humans as a species, uh, which makes him non-releasable. So, they, they tried to release him, and he ended up at a park a couple miles away, just, like, screaming at people for food, because he doesn't know how to feed himself. Um, so... Yeah, so he's non-releasable for that reason. We have another one, same story. He's just much shy, so he won't come down here. Um, so Abbott. cute. Hi, Abbott. You know, he likes the food. <laughs> here you go, Abbott. That's nice. Enjoy. That's nice. Oh. Wait, so imprinting, you know in Twilight how Jacob imprinted on like the daughter? What does that so, even mean? <laughs> technically, with mammals, it would be habituation. Okay. And with birds, it's imprinting. So oh. I guess if you want to be like... So that was be false. Cringe, it's incorrect. Yeah. Yeah, that's um, yeah it's like not a thing. But Stephanie. also, either are vampires, so like, what do you want to do? <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, so Abbott and Coconut, they're, they're imprinted birds. Um, and then we have them teach people about how cool birds are, how smart they are. Um, Abbott knows how to stack rings, like, on a, on a post. That's so cool. Um, they do lots of puzzle feeders. Um, they're, very, they're very smart, very cool. Wow. You're so screamy today. <laughs> He's excited. This is nice. Here, look at them. Oh, camera's scary. Abbott over here. Oh, oh he's wiggling. <laughs> Good boy. Oh, Ooh. scary camera. Cool. Um. So when he he's food, when he's yeah. here, does he like like to sit? He just sits. Yeah, they hang out on different perches. They get mm -hmm. enrichment toys every day, so like puzzle feeders and stuff like okay, that every cool. day. Cool. Um, and then they also get training sessions. Oh, um, amazing. So they have a lot to do. Yeah. Huh. They have a lot to do. And they have a friend, which is good. He can talk. He can definitely talk. <laughs> yes. Crows eat everything, too. They eat, like, um... Nuts and eggs and fruit and vegetables. They're eating cat kibble right now. That's what I'm feeding him. Um, they also eat carry on, they scavenge, eat dead things. So that's so cool. Yeah, I've they're all over the I've never seen a crow this close. It's pretty nice. cool. These are the ones we have around here. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, Abbott. Yes, Abbott. Bye bye. Bye, Abby. Nice to meet you, Abbott. Oh, very nice. Oh, he knows we're leaving. He's acting like he's starving. Oh, oh, and then there's have you ever seen a dog act like he's starving? <laughs> Bye, coconut. Nice to meet you.
nice to meet you. He's not. <laughs> He's fine. He just loves treats. Mm -mm -mm. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs>